Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. In this quick tip, I show you how to use the shell tool for this nice roof shape. And obviously we need um, a curtain wall here. And for this one, yes, all those, even the frames you can see, I used the shell tool for this. So let's get into it and I'll show you how I did this. The file setup I've got here is very simple. I've got two sections. I got a um, floor at the moment. And there we go, section one and section two. In section one, I drew a spline here, or I used actually a, a polyline, polyline and made them round around here, you know. Okay, so the next bit is, or the first bit is I start to use the shell tool and I trace along here and in, in, I can't do it in section. So what we have to do is we just copy this and we place this on our floor plan, okay? Now I can just maybe move it outside, go it down away from our slab. Zoom in, I've got this, make sure you choose this option. I've got it at 400 at the moment. And for now, I'll show you after I want them on 90. They're actually in here, if you don't know where they are, just around here, exclusion properties. And we go and space click. Extrusion length, let's make this about 35 meters and we hit OK. Great, so obviously now we have to move this back and turn this around. In 3D, what we have at the moment is this and we go and move this onto our floor. Let's just go there. And to rotate this, you have to go to section two. Very simple, you select and we rotate that this way. Okay, so having a look now in 3D, you can see we got this. Now to get the first two angles, all you do is you click here and you can adjust them, adjust them here. So 60 as example, as you can see, it gives you a nice, you know, incline that way and I want to do the same on that side. So 60-60 we got here. Great. The next step is I like to add a curtain wall. Simple settings, don't have to get into it. And I will draw this curtain wall here all the way here. By the way, see again I've got 120. Let's make this 90 first. There we go. I'll show you after. And I want to go outside this because it has to go and fit after. So let's just go outside a bit. Great, that should be fine. So in 3D, we got this now. There we go. Okay, so next, obviously we have to do the same here and we have to put them sort of on an angle. So if I do 60 here, depends how you drew it. It's going the other way, so we just add 30 and make it 120. Okay, and I wanna move it inside a bit. Yeah, that's good. So let's take this from there. And we drag this there. And now I drag it again because I want to have it one meter in. Minus. Okay, so, oops. There we go. And we go here. Yeah, that looks good. Now, what you can do is you can obviously select both of them and we can just use the shell trimming tool. There you go. So that's trimmed now. So the next bit is in between here, I actually want to add on um, a glass, as we shown before, glass, and then we mirror this over to the other side. So let's mirror that over first. Select and deselect this one and we just mirror this over. Okay, let's have a quick look. Move mirror copy. There we go. To make it an exact measurement in between, let's just move it there and we say Y6 minus. 
there we go so we have six in between just to make sure we measure that quickly but that should be roughly six there we go and in 3d we got this now great now to add first the glass in here what i like to do is obviously we have to cut some holes in so for this hole or sort of striping hole i have um this one here which is just a simple it's just a simple it looks like a wall but it's actually a shell and the reason is if i move this now here let's move it there and we go into our section which is this one here and i have to go to a working layer there you go so this one here i want to really have it in the middle of that one here so you can see it's the middle there so let's drag this from the middle to the middle there great now i copy them to that way and i will mirror the other way so let's make the same distance we distribute we copy two okay and we just go like this and a little bit further would be good actually so let's undo this and we just try again that's a bit too far great doing well here all right cool because see now i can actually So I can actually just, well, I could mirror or you can just select those two and you drag a copy. Because if you go from that corner to that corner, it gives you the same distance. Great, let's have a look in 3D and we go over here. Now for this purpose, we obviously use the solid element operation, which I open here. And we will add our operator and this will be our target subtraction yes execute there we go and i can go to my 3d export because you can see they're cutting obviously a bit wrong at the moment because what i want to do is next i want to actually also put them on an angle so we can go to this one here and i can say okay let's just rotate okay so let's rotate and i want to rotate this by let's make it five and we do this one we rotate by 10. okay and now we can drag them a bit more over here and over here there you go Yes, I should have really done that before and I could mirror that, but that's okay. Bit more work, but that's cool. Not a problem. So we do this again. Maybe just a little bit of repeat. So I got about minus five now. And we do the same here. We rotate and we go minus 10. There we go. If you want to know exactly what you can do is obviously we can just measure this. We go there to there. 1729 so we can go drag from there to there to there and just drag it again x1729 plus so that's exactly the same distance okay and we do the same maybe in between here m oops got it up 2244 that's an easy one to remember so we drag from there to there and we drag it again to 244 plus. Great, let's have another look. Yeah, there we go. That looks really nice actually. Good. The next one is I like to add some holes here. And the way I do this is a bit different. I can go to my export now and we look at section two this one let's just move that a bit so i can see it a lot this one here i create the whole difference i like to use the 
a circle tool, but I use an ellipse. So to do this, let's just draw some ellipse here. And to have that in the middle, again, you drag this, go there, there's the middle, perfect. And let's just use maybe the same sort of size and we drag one down and we rotate this that way. Okay, I think we need, let's just say this is um, um, level one, level two, so this has to be a bit lower. It has to go on the meat the slab. Whoops, we got to use this one. There you go. I should have really done the first step one, I know. Go down here. In and out, too long. Doesn't matter, go back off. Okay, this one again, let's move that into the middle of this. There and drag down. Perfect, and I like to drag a copy this way, just roughly, and we drag another one, same distance. Great, so what you can do is now you can select this and you can, in an empty space, you can right click and you can say, oh, create hole, and you just hold down your space bar. There you go, and just do it three more times. So we go again, create hole, space bar there, create hole, space bar, oops, space bar there, and one more time, we create an other hole. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks a bit funny at the top, but you know what, that's the tutorial. So, Great, that looks good too. The next bit is we're obviously missing the glass. Okay, so how do we do the glass? Let's just take this shell here and we drag this over here for now. Okay, so what we do is here, we then just select those holes and you can just delete them okay by the way if you haven't seen that before you can actually move those watch this very cool so you can go ooh, go this way so i'm losing the hole here and you only have a hole there okay delete and this one delete because what i want to do is i want to just use the exact same shape make this smaller so it's glass glass is maybe 50 mil and we change this to a glass let's do glass g1 see that is glass now so move that back and we have a look what we got now so let's have a look. Okay, what have we got? As you can see, obviously at the moment it is not correct in height. We got the glass here. So all you have to do is select the glass if you can select it. <laughs> so, and we just move this down by, um, this is 400 thick, the shell, 50. So 50, 400 minus 50, 350, and roughly in the middle is 175. 175 minus, all right. Oh, wrong way around, do that again. We elevate minus 175. Okay, so as you can see, we got this glass in here, great. Obviously you make a copy of that glass. Mm. Let's see where I can find this now. Yeah, there it is. So let's make a copy. We just drag a copy from that corner to that corner and have another look. Yeah, that looks good. And we will add another one in between because in a moment we fill up this glass and we create some um, mullions and frames in here. 
So let's go again to this one and copy another one. Let's drag this to there and we just drag it x3 meters and remember we used a six meters distance and now we obviously have to match the angle so let's do that in 3d it's maybe easier to explain so you take this and let's go to 120 yeah look that's fine i'll move that in a moment and 120 perfect all you have to do is move this which is there and we move this one that way okay and for those of you that have been careful watching this i only dragged this over i didn't copy so let's copy one back not a problem this one here and we drag a copy again from this corner to this corner Great, now how do we do the frames in between? Again, we just take one of our existing shells. Let's take this one and I like to, let's drag this from there right into the middle here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, next bit is we make this 90 straight up okay and we move this back from here to here and let's go y make it 50 minus and we do this again and we do some y on the plus let's have a quick look that is not bad so let's see what we got yeah that is good so obviously we have to select this and that was glass didn't really want to do the glass but that's okay we do this now um, 100 thickness i'll change this to just make it a black frame iron that will do and we elevate this by um, 25 so 25. let's have a quick look go a bit closer yeah, I think we should really elevate this another 25. Okay. Go check with 50. And this one is 100. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Look, if it's not thick enough, just increase the thickness, you know, make it 100, 140, and you just move it up another 30, you know, to work it out. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so we got our first frame in here, and let's add one. Yeah, let's add two, just one there and one at the end. The way we do is, this is, let's just drag this and we go and distribute. So I wanna have two of them go from here to here. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. Okay, so we take this one now and obviously have to make sure this is gone. We had, we had 60 here. So if I do 60, show you what happens. It sort of disappears because we've got to do the other side too, which is 120. There you go. Yeah, it's a little bit too far in. So we just have to drag it out a bit. There you go. Okay, so we just have to drag it a bit. Okay, that's good. Next one here, and instead of 60, let's make it 75. So 75 and 19, 90 plus 15 is 105. There you go. Perfect, so you got those frames now, and obviously the next ones we just mirror over. So we mirror a copy over. Let's do this. We mirror a copy and we go there. Beautiful, that looks pretty good now. Now, what we try to do is we can add some horizontal frames. 
So how do we do this? Oh, you know what? I did again not copy this. That's very silly. Let's have another look. What's happening here? I wonder if I can't copy. So if I take this, let's drag a copy. Does work. Wonder what happened to that one. Let's go over here. Maybe I missed something. I really thought I did that, but anyway. So. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I dragged the glass over. Yeah, yeah, and made a frame out of, isn't it? It can get very confusing sometimes. Okay. For this, use the shell tool again. And we go to the shell. Okay. And we do a very simple one. So I can't draw in here. I have to draw it down here. So what we do is do a very simple shell. So X100, we go there and we go there and there. Extrusion length, yeah, 35 grams, fine. Now you gotta be careful, let's have a look. They're obviously too thick, uh, has to be 50, because I made it 100, have a look in 3D. Okay, that's what we got at the moment. So we go and have a look at the section. Yeah, that's our shell. Uh, oh, the extrusion went that way. Yeah, 35, fair enough. That's cool. I can just move this down. There you go. So all the way here. Oh, that was a bit too much. Sorry about that. Let's drag that up. Make sure I don't lose this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so Y100 plus. So we put this on the iron material. And this one obviously, yes, you know, I can now just drag over here and I can adjust that to, oh, I just lost that. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, to make sure what we do is because we gotta see where they are. So I show you, we go here and we will move our section line to there. Okay, there we go. See, now I can see this. Now what, what I mean is before you can always see, now you see I can rotate this now. So that means I can rotate it to fit the slope of that. So let's drag this from the middle to there Let's start down here and I can say, okay, let's rotate this there. Now, before we continue, I noticed something before, I should have noticed before because, okay, what happened? This is the glass and the frames. Okay, so what we did is we moved this down and that works quite well moving down, but obviously because the curve goes back on itself you see it actually had we actually have a problem here so we really need to adjust that first so you have to go pretty much in here to be in the middle yeah see there you go there you go yeah that's okay that can happen that can happen Okay, as you can see, yeah, that's better now. See, the glass is all good. The frames are good. And now, if we now go along this, I think the best way is also to, we have to make sure we concentrate on this a bit more. See, yeah, see, we gotta move this. Unfortunately, we have to move them a little bit. I can see. Let me do that quickly. You just like, you just go like this and you move them there. So I like to extend them. Let's do this first. It's much easier doing that first than after, otherwise you have to do all of them. And we extend to roughly about there. 
and the same on the other side and roughly about there great now we can do this again we take those and we just distribute them along here well, there we go great yeah that looks good obviously there's a couple sticking out we just have to reduce the length of them now the best way to cut these off, what we do is we will copy one of those ones. Before I copy them along okay, now, I so will just drag extend and copy them. over. So let's do that first and then we copy them along. And I do this on purpose quickly so I understand. We obviously want to have this on 90 so I know which one I have to take. Or you can just move it on the layer, that's fine too. So I put it on cutting element, which I have to turn back on and then we can just move that back okay so this is out here now so you select them drag it back to the middle there we are yeah to the middle let's have a quick look yeah that should be fine and we will have to make a copy of this and we mirror that over because we want to cut them on both ends those horizontal um, lines obviously for the windows so we go and mirror copy the middle here great so let's have a look yeah that's what we got so we select those ones make sure they're grouped and we use the solid element operation for this so that's our target yeah already there and for the operate elements you take those two select both of them and we just subtract execute so if we now go to our export they're all nicely cut off now this is looking good okay i hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip and i see you back next time bye for now